glory, glory. Hallelujah. It's me, your brother, Apostle Prince. It's my name. I just want to quickly give a short message about tight and tightening. It has been a added concept in the body of Christ. Many people have been misled by this word tight and tightening. It is a big subject, but I'm going to try to explain in a very simple terms what it means by tight and tightening. As I said, we are going to I'm going to try in a very simple way so that I will not take too much of your time because in recent times on social media a lot of people are seeing different things accusing men of God about tight and tightening. If you know the concept of tight, you will not begin to think that if you did not tight, things will be tight for you in your future. Because men of God has make it so that you feel that you are guilty when you do not pay your one tenth from whatever you get as income to God. They will make you to feel as if you are guilty. That is why your business is not moving. That is why your child is sick. That is why you have sickness in your body. They will begin to think and begin to assume a lot of things that you are facing in life. We must face some challenges. We must face some things that are terrible because we live in a wicked world. It's not because you are not paying your tithe that is why things are tight for you. It's not because you are not paying your tithe that is why things are difficult for you. No. That one is misconception. Tight. When you look at the book of Malachi, when you look at the book of Exodus, tight was not even talking about money. These are things you do just like a trade and battle. These are the things you do for exchange. It was Moses that incorporated the doctrine that you said tight on is a law. Moses introduced a law. That's why it is called law of Moses. But what Jesus Christ said about tithe, the message of Jesus Christ is about salvation, not about tithing. In the book of Luke, Matthew, when Jesus Christ started his ministry, how did he address the scribes and the Pharisees? He said, Whoa! Unto you Pharisees and scribes, Whoa! Go and check the meaning of woe. In a simple tense, it's like a shame unto you people. You Galatians, you scribes and Pharisees, it's a woe unto thee. For you think by paying your tithe, you gain everything on earth. He said, you put aside the weightier things. But you concentrated on paying meat, meal, as tight. You put your weight behind tithing. You put your life behind tithing. You put your future behind tithing. You hold tithing as a law that you must fulfill. It's a war unto thee. Because you neglected the weightier matter. What are the weightier matters? Salvation. Seeking the kingdom of God. Seeking the blessings of God. Preaching the word of God. That is a commission. That is why we came on earth. To preach the gospel. To deliver. To liberate those that are oppressed and sick. To save the unbelievers. You forget the weightier matters. You are talking about tight, tight, tight. That is why the church of God today is suffering from spiritual pashoko. The church of God today is suffering from spiritual madness. 
pastors are taking advantages of collecting money from people saying you must pay your tithe so that your life will not be tight. You must do this so that you must do that. That is not the issue. Church of God, you forget the weightier matter. Preach salvation. Preach deliverance. Free the people of God. That is the essence. We are not talking, if you are talking about tithe, you are not even talking about money. Go and read the book of Luke, book of Mark, book of Matthew. He was not even talking about, look at the Old Testament. What they paid in their days. It's not even tithe, it's not even money. They paid a lot by exchanging food. Bring all the food into the storehouse. It is not a bring money. You cannot say there was no money in the old days. There were money. But they concentrated in doing exchange so that those that don't have food can eat. It's not say bring your money that your life will be tighter. And Jesus Christ never paid tight. His disciples never paid tight. And he did not preach tight. He said, Woe unto you Pharisees. Even Apostle Paul in the book of Galatians read from till to the end. We take tithing to be the God of the day by extorting from unbelievers, from extorting from believers that are weak. Children of God, today I want to liberate you that tithe is not a do or die affair. Jesus Christ did not preach tithe and we are followers of Jesus Christ. We should also preach what Jesus preached. We should follow the full step of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm not saying you should not pay tithe or pay tithe, but remember, paying tithe has no value in your life. Have no hindrances in your life. Because you are blessed already. As a child of God, you are blessed. As non-believer, you are blessed. God blessed all men. Did not say Christian. Blessed all men. Utilize your grace. God bless you this morning. I hope this little explanation can liberate you. My last advice, always get stuck to your Bible. Always read your Bible. The Holy Spirit will minister to you. Don't follow all the deceivers, the fake pastors and prophets in the body of Christ. Some have polluted the internet. Why today you don't see them preaching salvation, freeing the people of God? God bless you. I remain your brother, Apostle Prince is my name. Tight or tithing has no consequences in your life. May God bless you. Hallelujah.